Well, God bless every one of you. You are on God's mind. Yes, the creator of the universe who simply spoke the world and may I add the worlds into existence spoke and there was light. God is great. But in creating that which was going to be in his image, he could have spoken the first man and woman into existence. But man was formed. God took a whole day intricately formed man and to ensure the ability man breathed man was breathed into god breathed into man god is awesome in his decisions and in in his ability to implicate and to do that which is exceeding abundantly above that which we can think. That by breathing into clay, there were systems that were activated Never to need a switch. Never. A button. Never to need a a faucet. But eternally in order. Every human being that has come upon the face of the earth has the same systems every person that makes it through the birth canal and lives is a miracle systems elimination system yes the functioning of a pump more than one, two that pump air, one that pumps blood. Even the structure, bones, that's what we call them, bones, the skeleton that has its own system. Because in the bones, there is creativity going on. Cells are born every day, even in the bones. Yes. Inside of the man, the woman, a reproduction system Blood cells are born every day. Blood cells. God is an awesome God. And a perfect example. Every day is a new time. Every day is a new season, a new opportunity. Every day when the sun goes down, staying out of our 
will say out of our reach. We cannot turn on sunlight and make it day. I don't care how powerful every government leader is. The earth is designed and has a system that controls it. No amount of money, all of those that are multi-billionaires cannot control the days. They all wait until the light appears. God is great. And as wonderful as all of these things are, there is something greater. That a seed that cannot be seen with the naked eye can cause the greatest happening, the greatest miracle. The seed of the word of God, which is spirit and life, can cause a new creation, a new creature. Old things, yesterday is gone. The happenings of yesterday are gone. Old things are passed away. And behold, all things are become new. Every day is another time, another opportunity. Every day is the beginning of another year. How great is our God. Therefore, we arise. We say the sun came up. Actually, the sun didn't move. It's the earth that is doing the moving. However, that's another opportunity, another time, another chance. Yes. Let us each day be mindful of the fact that we are watched, a record is being kept. Some are still in the multitude and in among the multitude. We don't even have the number of the people that have been birthed. Records started recently according to eternity, but the number, a number that no person can number. But God is going to allow time to be consumed as each person, starting with Adam possibly, will have their day in court. Let us be mindful. Yes. Someday everybody will be able to have their say of what they did. Some are going to express what they didn't know anything about it. But the grace of God has appeared to all. Yes, it appeared. It appeared within the conscience. There is a time that people come to a place of decision and they decide and within them they say, I am going to. 
Or some people said, no, nah, I'm not going to. In this time of such adversity in the earth realm, it's wise to choose Christ. To make up our minds that all the rest of our days we will live in. Live for. Live with Jesus. Hey, Papa, take it to the He's the greatest leader. Buddha is dead. The first enlightened one, so to speak, is dead. The man who was supposed to have a visitation of an angel that brought him a plan. The first Muhammad, messenger of peace. He's dead. Mecca, they go. He's dead. All of the organizers of every so-called religion. And I might add, Jesus did not bring religion. Religion was here before Jesus came. Jesus came to bring life. And that more abundantly. What I'm encouraging all of us to do, let's start and continue this time, this opportunity, the next what they'll call the next 24 hours. Let's choose Jesus. There's one very simple way we can choose Jesus and choose his plan, choose what he said. Choose to walk the way he did, to live the way he did. And one of the things that Jesus did, and it is recorded, he forgave. Israel is at war because they decided to retaliate. And that, in many cases, is permissible. In their case, it was permissible for them to retaliate. But their personal confrontations, their personal things that happened between individuals, and you know what? We cannot start a war all the time. Sometimes we have to let it go. That's called forgiving. That's what Jesus did. Jesus didn't start a war. Don't think he could not have. And he let them know if he wanted to, he could call a man 10,000 of his angels, but he let it go. Because he had a destiny, was ruling his decisions. So when we follow Jesus, we're following. We, we are emerging into an eternal destiny that has a wonderful conclusion. It has a wonderful conclusion. Yes. This is what faith does. Faith hears the first plan. And faith, faith comes by hearing hearing if a person is deaf God put it in man to develop what's called a sign language to give everybody an opportunity to make a decision to decide the rest of their lives because everybody's going to live somewhere they're going to live somewhere either in eternity with Lucifer or in eternity with Jesus. Let's be wise here. Let's choose Jesus. He has the best plan. And his plan has proven itself because he has many, many, many new creatures to testify. I was. 
W-A-S is the symbolic utterance of what has been. And when we continue in the life of Jesus, it doesn't ever have to appear again. It is dead. Jesus puts to death the old person. Thank God. Behold, all things are become new. And you know what's so wonderful? We can be anew every day. Every day. We can be a brand new, a brand new start, a brand new life, a brand new beginning. Somebody said, well, why I have to keep starting? You don't have to keep starting over, but you certainly can keep starting. We start new jobs. We start new positions. We start with new technology. We start with a new set of whatever. Sometimes we can start with new teeth. Lord have mercy on us all. Yes, start a new start. Yaba da 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 ba shere kete ridi di di obo shara da 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 ba. Somebody said, "What did she say?" I wasn't talking to you. Hey, kaba da da ba da 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 ba da 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 ba ba she. Our God is an awesome God. So those of you that are listening to this podcast, start your time, this time, with Jesus. His creation is still in force, and he has the ability to do exceeding, abundant, above all that we can ask or think, and we give him the glory. Yes, we give him all the glory. Our king is soon to come for us. That is the next great event. The whole world. You talk about a shaking. My God. When all the world knows that many, 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 many are missing. Oh, somebody is going to say, well, you know... Uh, they've been having the spotting of the UFOs and probably some of them just went with them. Mm -hmm. But somebody else is going to remember. I used to hear them people talking about something was going to happen. That is the greatest event that will shake the whole world. God help today. Help those that are listening to this podcast. All of us, help us every day to choose you, Lord, to choose your way. Help those that have never chosen you initially Help them to choose you, Jesus. Help them to choose your way. In Jesus' name. Now, beloved, you can call the number on the screen and we'll be glad to pray with you that you will continue in your choice. I'll be glad, and whoever answers, and our team will be glad to answer your questions. And if we don't, call us back because <laughs> we'll be in the midst of getting the answers. Oh, there's an answer for every question. Well, we love you. Stay encouraged, people of God. Let's continue to pray for Israel. Pray for the Ukraine. Pray for other needs. Pray now that these people that have come into the United States we lose your power, God, for this nation, our protection. And we give you the glory. Be blessed. God bless you until next time.